Hi everyone, it's Matthew here again, ready to begin the next installment, installment number 18 of my Jeopardy Everyday in October series. And today, as you can probably tell, turn this a little bit more. There we are. I'm going to be doing a new version. Oops, and it looks like the plug came out. Hold on, guys. I'm going to be doing the, the Deluxe Edition for the Sega Genesis. I know it's I do have a run of this game going, and I have not tended to this run very much, but I will try my best. My opponents are Andrea and John. One daily double in one of these six categories. You are the category. State holidays. Literature. Songs. Trivia, Double Talk, and U.S. History. I will take these categories, and I'm going to start with Literature for 100. In the novel, the strange portrait of this man was painted by Basil Hallward. Dorian Gray. Yes. Literature for 200. The first appearance in the print of this hard-boiled detective was in 1939 in The Big Sleep. Let's see if John knows. Philip Marlowe. Okay, Philip Marlowe. You are correct. Day Holidays 100, and there's the Daily Double. It's found it early, and he's going to risk 500. Alabama, Florida, Mississippi, and South Carolina serve Lee's birthday in January, and his in June, and John has no clue. It's Jefferson Davis. U.S. History 100. In 1915, he chartered a peace ship and built his millionth, millionth car. Hello? Hello? Oh, how is he? Yeah, why? Okay. Uh, yeah, that would kind of save me the trouble of making something, uh... Sorry guys, I had to take a call. You are correct. And I was right. It's Henry Ford. Thank God. U.S. History for 200. Congress made this a holiday in 1894 as the government was trying to break the Pullman strike. John rings in, and it's Labor Day. You are correct. Okay. Double Talk 100. A really dumb person or the toy Tommy Smothers plays with on his comedy hour. A yo-yo. You are correct. Uh-huh. Uh, literature for 300. 
Lucy Manette is the heroine of this novel. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, A Tale of Two Cities. You are correct. Mm hmm. Stay holidays for 200. Every year on August 16th, this date observes the anniversary of the Battle of Bennington. Oh, Vermont. You are correct. So that gives Andrea the lead. Literature for 400. In John Webster's play, a steward named Antonio is secretly married to the Duchess of This. Uh, what is Windsor? Sorry? No. What was I thinking? Malfi. You are correct. Last name of St. Clair Lewis's title character Samuel, whose life is changed by a trip to somewhere. Trip to Europe. Dodsworth. You are correct. Stay holidays 300. This date celebrates Seward's Day with good reason. What is Alaska? You are correct. Gets me out of the hole. Let's go with stay holidays for 400. The state that celebrates Andrew Jackson's birthday, March 15th. And Andrea has no clue. And neither does John. It's Tennessee. Um, songs for a hundred. Elvis could have told you this is where the desk clerk's dressed in black. Heartbreak, oh, Heartbreak Hotel. You are correct. State holidays, 500. Californians celebrated on Luther Burbank's birthday. In Nebraska, it's on Julius Morton's. Oh, Arbor Day. You are correct. Double talk for 200. In a certain Coleridge poem, it precedes everywhere nor any drop to drink. What's water? Water, water. You are correct. Yes. Double talk for 300. It's the capital of American Samoa. Pago Pago.
You are correct. Yes. Double talk for four. A disease of the peripheral nerves caused by a vitamin B1 deficiency. Berry Berry. And I know I have the Super Nintendo version of this game, and I will review that before this month is over. You are correct. Uh huh. Hopefully I can. Anyway, double talk for five. The number, the only number one hit for the mamas and the papas. Monday, Monday. You are correct. Should also mention that yesterday I reviewed the PS3 version again, and that gives me the lead. Uh, songs for 200. Cole Porter wrote, Why, oh, why do I love this city? Because my love is near. What is, uh, Paris? Yes. Songs for 300. In Paint Your Wagon, Julio complains, I talk to the trees, but they don't do this. I'm thinking it's for Spawn. Oh, no. What is Listen to Me? You are correct. I may be using my phone for this, but trust me, this is my videos. I can do what I want. Songs for 400. On his 1988 album, Even Worse, this pop parrot is saying, Stuck in a Closet with Vanna White. And John doesn't know. Right. And neither does right. Andrea. Who is Weird Al? Weird Al Yankovic. Because he, he did the I Lost on Jeopardy. You are correct. Should have known that one. It didn't really hit me in the head. Uh, songs for five. A song in Porgy and Bess is titled, There's a Boat That's Leaving Soon for This. Andrea doesn't know. I think her spirit is broken. Oh, New York. You are correct. So John is at zero now. Trivia for 100. This band is listed last in the Billboard Book of Top 40 Hits right after the Zombies. See if Andrea knows. Oh, ZZ Top. You are correct. U.S. History for 300. On July 26, 1775, Congress established this service, put Ben, established this service and put Ben Franklin in charge. No. Sorry. You know what, I'll try it. This is a total Hail Mary on this, but I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe this came a little earlier than that, but I'm going to take a guess on what is the Pony Express? Sorry? No. 
It's not the Pony Express. Maybe that came a lot earlier. Oh, the postal system. You are correct. I was on the right track. U.S. History 400. This president froze wages, prices, and rents on August 15, 1971. Richard Nixon. You are correct. Trivia for 200. Raquel Welsh made her Broadway debut in this musical, replacing Lauren Bacall. Woman of the Year. You are correct. Alright. Trivia 300. As a playwright, Pope John Paul II translated Oedipus into this, his native language. Oh, Polish. I was going to say Italian. But that was Pope John Paul I, I think. Trivia 400. In its fourth stanza begins, Blessed with victory and peace, may the heaven rescue land. Um, the Star Spangled Banner. You are correct. Yes. Uh, U.S. History for 500. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson both died on July 4th on this anniversary of our independence. The 50th. You are correct. Okay. And one more clue for 500 in trivia. This Pennsylvania city has more than a thousand bridges. More than any U.S. city. Let's see if Andrea knows. Pittsburgh, one of my guesses. You are correct. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, Andrea has 800, John 1500, and I believe it's 2600. Two daily doubles. We're going to see the categories, and then we're going to take a break. You are the category. June. The Far East. Common Bonds. Famous Women. Ancient Egypt. And Roman Myths. And we'll see you all for the next part.